Today we're going to take a deep dive into YouTube, specifically this channel. Um, and I'm going to show you some things that maybe the average viewer doesn't know. Um, and I'm going to show you my personal statistics so you can see what's happening with the channel. And I'm going to talk to you about where I want to go with it. Uh, I'm also going to show you some of the ways in which I'm struggling. Uh, there is a YouTube algorithm and um, in order to monetize, which I'm con seriously considering. And remember that if I monetize, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, <clears throat> but if I, uh, in order to get uh, monetized, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a 12-month period. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now. It's winter time. And uh, as you can probably see, um, it's quite snowy where I live. The car is winterized, so that's okay. But uh, it's, it's a little difficult. Right now I'm on my way up to the mailbox, check the mail, and then I'm headed back to the house. And that's kind of, and that's kind of, how things are going to be. Also, there's that whole thing about uh, all the variants of COVID. But it's bright, isn't it? I saw a YouTube channel today where uh, somebody who's, who teaches people how to have a successful YouTube channel uh, said that um, you should probably, the, the benchmark, uh, the first benchmark for a channel is, is 100 subscribers. And you should probably have 100 subscribers within the first 60 or so, 60 to 65 days. I got... 60 subscribers in 42 days, which is less than 60 days, obviously. But over the next five months, I only got eight subscribers. Okay, I got nine subscribers, but one of those subscribers that I got during that time unsubscribed. So right now I have, as I'm making this, I've got 68 subscribers and I've gotten basically eight subscribers in five months. So I'm I'm doing something wrong. Um, you need more subs to subscri subscribers to get higher in the YouTube algorithm search. And so uh, that's why 100 is a benchmark. Also, if you get 100, uh, you can also begin to have live YouTube discussions. Live, you could go live with YouTube and we can talk. Um, so my initial goal before we get any deeper into this video is I need 100 subscribers. I've got 68. So I want to get 32 subscribers by Valentine's Day. So I've got about a month and a half to come up with 32 more subscribers. And I need your help. I need you to help me, please. Now, I'm going to show you my stats in just a minute, but I want to reinforce that the monetization that I wind up doing doesn't necessarily have to cost you anything, and you can still watch this as you've always watched it. Um, but should you decide to, to donate, I want you to know that 100% of what you donate is going to go back into the channel, and I'll get into that uh, a little later on in the video. So let's take a few moments here and take a deeper dive into how my channel is performing. So I, cause I want you to see it. You can see here my overall lifetime stats by lifetime. It's from when I first started the channel and there's really nothing before, between, uh, before August actually right here is July 15th. That was the first day that, uh, I had the channel going. I've got about, 2,000 views, total watch time of 
if you add up uh, all the time that people have watched every single video, it comes to 143 hours, and I've got 68 subscribers. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so now if we go down a little bit here, you can see the top 10 videos on my channel. And obviously the very first one got the most views. It got 271 views so far. Um, I think that's about an eight minute video. Um, obviously one of the reasons, probably the main reason why I got those view, that many views is because, um, I sent an email to a, uh, mailing list that I, uh, send out a thought of the day to, uh, everybody wanted to check it out. I also put it on my Facebook page and, and so I had 271 views on the interesting th uh, thing here is bend. I did a a blurb on Bend, Oregon, um, showed the, the uh, farmer's market. I showed uh, uh, what the region looks like and uh, another place around Bend. Got 124. I think the, one of the reasons why I got so many on that one is because Bend tends to be a destination, um, both in the winter and in the summer. And um, I believe that one was 15 minutes or a little bit longer. And then you have the Hollyhock one here. It got 116 views, as you can see. Um, the interesting thing, uh, first of all, Hollyhock, probably a lot of the people on my thought of the day list I've sat meditations with, and that's one of the reasons why they check this out. Uh, but if you look at this, the average time they viewed, um, this is an eight or nine minute video, three minutes. This was, uh, I believe, a 18 or 19 minute video, three minutes. This was a, I want to say 13 minute video, but don't quote me on that, eight minutes, uh, eight and a half minutes. And again, that has to do with people who've been to Hollyhock and, and done things there. So I think that's interesting that um, even though uh, they've gotten so many views, they've got so little that nobody watches the whole thing. And is that because they're not very good? That's probably a part, major part of it. Is it because people don't have the patience to watch the whole thing? I think that's part of it too. Um, let's, uh, let me show you something else here. So if we go over here to engagement and click on that, um, here's something that you may not realize. So this is the, right now we're looking at the Hollyhock Center uh, video, and you can see that 71% um, are still watching after the first 30 seconds. So I've lost almost 30% of the folks there. Um, and if you come down here to um, 42 seconds, I'm, I'm well below 50% now. And if you look here at the end, uh, I've been able to retain 23%. These will go up and down. People didn't want to see that part of me driving into Hollyhock, but they were interested in um, looking up through one of the roofs of, uh, of a building at Hollyhock. So then if you look at the audience, um, you come down here and it, it tends to show that 100% of my audience is 65 or older, which is really weird because uh, I know at least two people who are not um, that old. Uh, they're not even in their 40s, I don't think. Okay, and let me show you one other thing here so um, that, I've, I've, that you may find interesting. Let's go over here and let's just, uh, the video before last, is the holiday lights extra extravaganza. And then if we go back here, uh, again, um, within 30 seconds, I'm down, I've lost almost 60% of the audience. Why does that happen? So one of the things I'd like is for this to be an interactive video between you and me, be part, 
of the solution. And so what I'd like to know is what is it about the channel that you like? What are some things that you don't like? Um, what are some things that you don't want to see? What are some things you would like to see? What will cause you to click and actually watch this video? What would cause you to watch it for longer than 30 seconds? What would cause you maybe even to watch it to the end or subscribe? I need to know these things and if you could comment down below that would really be helpful. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to talk about monetization and how it doesn't have to cost you a thing. And I want to reinforce that that monetization will, 100% of that's going to go back into the channel. It will allow me to upgrade my equipment and it will allow me to uh, take you to places that you'll find even more interesting. I've got some places in the American Southwest I plan to go if I can, I'm, uh, there are three or four different countries in Europe I plan to take you to. So um, the monetization will allow for all that to happen. So the first way that most YouTube creators monetize is they get that um, 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours in a 12-month period, and uh, they join the, the YouTube ad program. And what that does is it um, an ad will play just before you can see the video, and another ad will play likely at the end, and perhaps even one in the middle if it's a long enough video that this person's created. And they get a piece of that pie each time uh, you're you're watching that ad and as somebody who watches a lot of video i can tell you that um that's no fun that it, uh, that five seconds that you have to watch that video is no fun at all additionally it, it depends on uh, what your video is about on, on how much advertisers are willing to pay. You might get five cents an ad or a penny and a half an ad if you're talking about travel, and you might get 98 cents or a dollar ten if you're talking about uh, lawyers, stock, stocks, real estate, the, the, the spend money kind of stuff. Um, so that's something that uh, YouTube creators uh, have to keep in mind because somebody can run the same length of video uh, to the same number of subscribers and earn more than somebody who has the exact same. If you have a favorite YouTube creator, you can go to a place called socialblade.com and I'll link that in the description down below. And you can enter that uh, creator's name and it can give you a guesstimate of what that person is likely to make over a 12-month period. Okay, so this is socialblade.com. And um, what I want to show you here with this is uh, let's go ahead and enter somebody. Uh, we'll, we'll go with Trent and Ali. And... You can see that um, what Social Blade is telling us about Trent and Alley is that they have um, a little less than a half a million subscribers. They have 480 uh, videos that they've uploaded. And you can see here that this is what um, uh, Social Blade is estimating that they made over the course of the this two-week period and uh, if you average that out um, and I'm not sure if that average is for uh, I think it's for that two-week period um, that they earned somewhere between two hundred and twenty eight dollars and thirty six thirty six hundred dollars for that two-week period and if you, you extrapolate that out um, that's that's per week that's a weekly average. And if you extrapolate that out, 
then Social Blade is estimating that they're going to earn somewhere between $11,000 and $187,000 for the next 12 months, over the next 12 months. And um, I've, I've seen videos where several uh, YouTube creators say that they make much closer to the higher end, although they never make the high end, but they, they earn much closer to the higher end than the lower end. Um, so let's look at your favorite YouTube creator, Gratefully Dedicated. If I can spell it right here. There we go. And you can see now that uh, I, oh, look, I've got 70 subscribers now. So we only have to get 30 between now and Valentine's Day. Please help. Uh, and then we, I've uploaded 24 videos. And over the last two weeks, I've averaged between three cents and 50 cents per day. And if you extrapolate that out, what they're saying is that my estimated yearly earnings, so for 2022, I'll earn, earn somewhere between two and $26 total. Uh, that's not gonna happen because I, A, I'm not part of the um, uh, YouTube ad program and because uh, I don't have the thousand subscribers or the uh, 4,000 watch hours uh, in a 12-month period. Now, if we go up here to future projections and click on that, you'll see that what uh, Social Blade is projecting is that um, I'll get another two subscriptions over the next two months. And if I want to get 100 subscribers, it's going to take me two years. And that's where you guys come in. Uh, you, you need to help me get it by Valentine's Day. I only need 30. And um, I'm counting on you guys to give me a hand here. In any case, I have confidence that you're going to help me get those 30 or so subscribers. So I've hit that 100 uh, subscriber benchmark by Valentine's Day. So thank you in advance for helping me. Okay, so how am I going to get the resources I need to bring you better and more interesting content? First of all, I'm not going to uh, join the YouTube ad program. I'm going to try to stay away from that, and there are two ways that um, will allow me to do that, I think. One is uh, Patreon. Um, for those of you who don't know what Patreon is, it's sort of a, a, a pay-it-forward kind of thing where I create a, a subscription and you subscribe. And you can pay monthly or annually, it doesn't matter. And so, um, and it's on different levels. But for me, I'm, I'm going to keep it low. So a monthly subscription will cost the cost of a Starbucks coffee or less um, for you if you decide to pay it forward and help me out. Um, let me show you what that might look like uh, using uh, a couple of examples from uh, some other YouTube creators. Okay, so this is a Patreon subscription page from a couple of guys who uh, do narrowboat floating on the canals in the UK. And you can see that they've named them Crewmate, Foxy Friend, and Foxy Fan. Uh, they're the foxes afloat. For $2 a month, you get one thing. Um, for $5 a month, you can see that they've added 10% um, discount for merchandise. I don't know if I'm going to do merchandise. And then for $10 a month, you get that plus a 24-hour early access to the vlogs. So that's one page. This is Trent and Alley's subscription page on Patreon. You can see that uh, they've got 
one, five, and ten dollars. And the one dollar is you're just donating, whereas the five dollar you get some stuff, um, like full access to Patreon only content, guaranteed responses to questions. Uh, full access to um, stories. And for the $10 a month, you get all of that plus um, a bunch of other stuff. And I'm looking at doing probably a 2 and $5 uh, subscription. I'm not sure uh, what my levels are going to be, but I can tell you that it will be probably uh, 3 and $5. I haven't really... Um, determined the amount, but three and five, three, one at three dollars and one at five dollars per month uh, sounds about right to me. We'll, we'll see. One of the things that I'll have to do is uh, I'm, I'm going to create a logo, and you're going to help me with that. Um, up here next week or the week after, I'm going to have a series of, of potential logos, and you guys get to choose, uh, vote on them and to help me choose which one that, that I'm going to use. Another way that I can... Get, garner resources to bring you better and more interesting content um, is through sponsorships. And that's where uh, the YouTube creator contracts with a company and that particular company sponsors a particular video. And usually what that means is uh, that somewhere in the, uh, the, the video that the YouTube creator uh, uploads, there is uh, that particular creator does um, uh, basically an advertisement for the product. And in almost every single case, I want to re reinforce that every single case that I've seen, the YouTube creator only contracts to do uh, an in-video ad uh, for a, pr a product that they actually use. And that's what I'll be doing too. And, and so what would that look like? Well, he, here's a, a short blurb to give you a sense of what that might look like. So we're on our way back from Vermont and I'm actually sitting in the back seat here with little Sadie Mae. I just gave her some nutrition, <laughs> but now it's time for mama to have her nutrition as well. So Athletic Greens AG1 was actually something I was using as a prenatal um, throughout my pregnancy and now postpartum it's so so important for making sure my diet my nutrition my health is up to par so one thing that i love about ag1 is their little convenient travel packs perfect for a situation like this on the road on the go i love it because the ingredients are sourced from actual whole foods there are 75 vitamin minerals and whole food sourced ingredients that range from chlorella, spirulina, papaya, all sorts of goodness. And the best part is it tastes absolutely delicious. So there you have it. Um, in 2022, I'm looking initially within the first little while, uh, six weeks or so, a benchmark of 100 subscribers that I need you to help me with. Not long after that, I'll probably uh, institute a, um, a Patreon page that, to which you can pay it forward by subscribing. And then um, after I get enough subscribers, I'll look and see if there's any uh, company that I'm willing to contract with, with products that I actually use and that you might actually be interested in as well. I, I think the, the company contract is way far down the line, at least at the end of the year, if not farther down. Patreon is what's really going to help me uh, as you determine whether or not you want to pay it forward. If you decide not to do any of that, then all you have to do is just continue watching these videos and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Uh, you don't have to subscribe. You're still going to be able to get all the content. So uh, be sure to leave comments down below on what you, you like, don't like, want to see, don't want to see, what you suggestions for me. And then um, we'll see what happens from there. And I'll see you next week.